So I just watched Cocaine Bear. <laughs> oh my god. What a stupid ass idea. Dude, I couldn't even get through it with a straight face. Let me try that shit again. So I just... Oh man. Dude, this is how I get acne right here. This is how I fucking get acne. Yeah, I'm definitely washing this off right now. Oh man, I can breathe again. So I just did cocaine and, um, <laughs> okay, no, stop, stop. So I watched Cocaine Bear and, um, you know, I'm not exactly sure how to grade this right now because on paper, I should absolutely be into this movie and not because of the drugs. But from the trailer, I kind of went in with a certain expectation and I expected it to deliver on certain accounts. And I expected it to be one of those movies in the similar vein to Megan, which I really like. And I got that. In spurts, there are certain scenes and sections in the movie where it delivered exactly what I wanted. It was funny, it was gory, and it was just like, wow, this is just a straight up wild time. And it gave me that in certain areas. I literally have flour all over the microphone. What the fuck? And when it gives me those scenes, I was like, this is, yes, this is it. Martin Scorsese, this is cinema. But like I said, it was only in spurts because surrounding those certain scenes, it was a lot of unevenness because as the movie starts you know it follows separate characters in separate locations and then by the time the movie kind of ends a lot of it kind of comes down together okay cool but because of that after certain scenes where i was like hell yeah this is like so funny a bear just did cocaine and then all of a sudden it'll cut to some other place for like a minute of like another character that we haven't really cared for that much and then it'll just kind of cut away from that and i'm like uh, I wish you could just kind of kind of stay in the zone when it's going, you know, But okay You know a bunch of characters you kind of have to go back and forth give each time to shine I understand that but like Megan where it's you know very camp and you know There's elements of horror and comedy cocaine bear tries to do the same and it is not to the same effect To me cocaine bear is at its absolute best when it sticks with the camp like 80s horror because it is very gory There are some jump scares that are actually effective and there are some moments where you're actually like pretty tense because you're like Where is this? motherfucker gonna come out but with the comedy it was so hit or miss and you know sometimes it's very funny but other times it's like so awkward with the dialogue almost like the script told you to pause for the audience laughter and instead i'm just kind of sitting there like what and that was my experience throughout the whole movie for every awesome cocaine bear scene that we got and trust me it is awesome it would follow it with more not that funny jokes and some awkward dialogue and some rush characterizations and interesting decisions and then i'd start to fall out of it and i'd be like man this is like this is like not that great and then it'll hit me with another crack what it'll hit me with another line of cocaine and then i'm like okay i'm back i'm back you got me back in and then it will lose me again it did that for about like 95 minutes which once again awesome but when you jerk me that many times oh my gosh pause but when you do that to me too many times it starts to get a little bit frustrating because i saw the movie in there that i wanted to see for me personally the performances are fine you know across the board i mean there are some actors and i don't know if it's the character or the actor or elizabeth banks the director but some of them play a little bit too serious a little bit too straight whereas other people kind of felt like they knew or at least they thought they knew what kind of movie they were in for me alden ehrenreich is a standout he's gonna have a good year look out for the netflix movie fair play which he's very good in. in this movie he knew exactly what movie he was in and he was awesome i mean the line delivery of him basically explaining the movie is just great so this movie is pretty hit or miss for me and like i said it was pretty frustrating but at the same time like y'all already know 95 minute movie never bored went by fast and because of that i'm like oh gosh how do i how do i rate this overall i wish cocaine bear was a little bit more balanced because it was very uneven with all the tones it was getting with the horror and the comedy and it's very gory at times and then it would try to be funny and it would just fall flat and it was a very much a roller coaster ride which was pretty frustrating to me if you saw the trailer and you're like i don't want to watch that i don't think that looks good i don't think you'll like this movie at all if you watch the trailer and you're like i think i will like that well, I hope you enjoy it a little bit more than I did because even though it is a fast watch, which I always appreciate, it's a little bit too hit or miss for me. Cocaine Bear, two and a half stars. I feel like my pores are clogged with flour and I just, that was a really poor idea. What am I doing?